Welcome to Trade Doc, Theta Options Trader, where we recap today's close, look at the futures, and scan our ETF watch list to spot opportunity. Today is December 27th, 2016, about 5.15, and the markets, they closed all green, with the Dow up just slightly, 11 points, about $65 away from the 20,000. S&P up about almost a quarter percent. The Russell and the Nasdaq up almost a half a percent. Looking at the futures, um, the majors are. This is uh, actually the day's action, so it's not um, it's not the futures, but I kind of kind of show how everything closed up. The bonds are pretty much unchanged. The VIX up a quarter percent. Natural gas came up almost a full percent. Uh, gold is up to 11.39. Silver's back to 16.02. Copper's 250. The dollar came down pretty much unchanged, 103 even. British pound came down actually, it's 122.9, so a little bit under 123. And the CAD. Looks like it came down. It's giving me a buy signal, as well as crude oil is giving me a sell signal. So maybe I was a little early on the selling the crude, but it's still doing good because I'm in theta, and this is my price level for crude, which is pretty important, which is 1178. I'll put supposed to like stop and raise up prices, but we'll see how that goes. See this trading this range of 1134, 1178, right around that area. Looking for the oil explorers, they were up a half percent, still above his 20 day moving average. Um, looks like the relative strength is pointing up, so for oil explorers, they might be going up uh, short term um, natural gas nice came up and it's coming right back came up about one and a half percent back up to this level but still closing underneath this channel so that's still that's still good for the natural gas short is gold nice pop up back into our price range closed right under right yeah it, it closed right in our price range so we're in pretty good much good shape I put a sell a buy order um, on Thursday gold miners came up almost three percent three I mean two point seven five and like I said, the miners will recover a little faster than gold price itself. Looking to take a little bit off at the 2013, or it might just trade sideways right there at 2013. Silver came up one and a half percent. Close at at 1513. And we can see silver keep moving up slightly. Should have put a buy order, but uh. If it if it has a if it comes down a little bit then the buy order will go in. XLE kind of doing the same thing as the oil explorers, trading sideways. Um, no direction here. Just working off theta. Is uh, utilities and they poke their head up a little bit, but it looks like they have a little bit more downward movement. So we're still short utilities. That's still playing out well. Uh, industrial sector kind of moved up to the top of this channel. We can expect this to come back down. Material sector was up a half percent. Closed above its 20 day moving average for the first time in a while. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on that. I still have a bearish bias on it his home I mean a uh, healthcare sector came right back up and it closed above this here so typically 
that's pretty bullish. Um, not putting any position on there yet. Is uh, real estate it came up just a tenth of a percent. Very very low volume here. So I'd like to see this come up a little bit more before I place the short on. But I closed above this support level of uh, 75.8. Home builders were up about three quarter percent. Probably gonna tag this trend line and come back down. Retail came up. Looking to place another short on it once. Once it comes up a little bit more, I'd like that to come up. The numbers and the figures are looking good. I'm just going to move this more like this. Make sure that short it once it tags that. Financials still below that. So now I can place this trend line here just to make sure. And they did break above the trend line, but this that can that uh, can this candle here, which was this morning, is pretty much um, there was no direction, and it kind of closed up a little bit, just point one three percent. So still looking bearish on it, despite everybody else's thoughts. Short term, anyways is the S&P closed above its 20 day moving average today we're still short I think these are gonna expire pretty soon but uh, just working on theta as long as it doesn't go above the this right here 22 I mean 227 and here's a Dow Still got short, still far from its 20,000. So, if it breaches that, then uh, we're not going to see the 20,000 mark. Here's the Q's, and they actually went up past uh, resistance and then came down, tagged that trend line, and pretty good volume today in the Q's. So, this is pretty reasonable. I'd rather be long the queues than uh, the other sectors. Is uh, the Russell, and we are short the Russell. That I, I placed another short today, so I got a. Uh, and that was this morning, because I'm already short with a long put, because uh, short put expired last week. So, short the Russell again. Immersion markets kind of long with um, with some uh, dividend ETFs, no options here in the immersion markets. But uh, we'll see how the story goes. Hopefully, it doesn't breach that. Japan, boom, got slammed down a half percent. So it's kind of trading, you know, below its support levels. So I don't really trade Japan, but this is pretty significant. The this price level here. So yeah, it didn't it didn't breach that. It's only closed below that once, and this was back in um, November 9th. So Japan's still looking like it's building support. This China, nice curl. Volume looks like it's picking up. Going long China. Uh, India came up pretty much unchanged, 0.05%. So looking for India. There's some news about uh, the government taking, um, going after real estate now. So their economy is going to do way better than our economy because of the regulations. It doesn't look like they're letting the banks go wild and this and that. So. Um, you want any, any truth like the dictionary just look at, at India this Russia came up to the bottom of this channel looking to trade it back down uh, Europe 
is up pretty much nothing much there British pound actually buy signal on there so we can start building the position on the British pound the dollar actually broke this trend line so we could take that the dollar I think might have ran out of steam and the VIX is actually back down to the level where I bought it at zero on it so I'd like to go along the VIX